Hi there guys, um, as you probably know I've had the van for about a week now and um, obviously I mentioned about the lovely bot system uh, which is a set of drawers that can pull in and out, I'll show you those now. So this is the bot system, it's made by a UK company I believe, uh, there's the telephone number for anybody that's interested. Um, this came with my van so I didn't have to purchase anything, my original intention was to buy something from the ply guys or something from uh, maybe a vinyl switch or even uh, stitches of steel um, but this pulls out as you can see and it pulls out quite a long way um, and what I've been doing um, I've been fabricating um, some timber pieces uh, this floor lining uh, went in all the way I've cut it back a little bit uh, and I've just sort of loosely fitted um, a piece of ply in there um, I can't remember the size, I think it's three quarter inch ply. And the intention is um, to basically store my gas canisters. And so I can get quite a few of these in there. Um, <coughs> there we go. So that's. I have to put. That one yeah so we can get quite a few of these in here as you can see I've got one two three four five now I can't quite do five high <coughs> on the next row because this top lip um, there's some steel there's, there's some steel framework here which this top lip lip if you go above um, will obviously sort of prevent uh, the draw from going in. Uh, so what I can only do is go one, two, three, four. So I'll show you that now. One, two, three, <coughs> four. Okay. So that's nine canisters. Um, now the intention is um, to screw that in place. I'll probably put a bit of foam in here to stop these bouncing around. Um, and um, that I'll show you the next step in a bit. So um, <coughs> what I've decided to do is just on the edge here, as you can see, uh, hold it that way, that's the back of it, uh, using some tech screws, um, I've basically put a bit of alum stri aluminium strip. Um, that's just going to help um, to support uh, the shelf when it fits. So to stop the um, bouncing of the cans a little bit, uh, I've got a little bit of rubber matting to go in the bottom. So um, place some matting in here, uh, like so, just a bit of thin neoprene rubber matting. And I may put a little bit of um, something around the edges just to stop the cans bouncing around. I'm under the, uh, I'm sitting on the floor behind the van now and I've drilled, uh, pre-drilled a few holes uh, where I pencil lined uh, the, the bit of ply and I'm just going to put some fixings up just to stop it sliding around underneath. that job done. Next I'm just going to hold the carpet in place uh, which was trimmed previously. Uh, it'll just sit below the aluminium lip and I'm just going to use a couple of these. Um, they're called tech screws in our industry. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, little self drilling kind of screw. put three of those in that should just hold the carpet in place I could glue it I suppose 
but if I glue it and I want to take it out again, that's going to be a problem later on. So I thought I'd just screw it for now. There you go. And uh, a little bit of a, a hoover if the battery's not going to die me. So uh, the next steps, um, building a, uh, a little shelf. Um, so I want something to put the cooker on and I want somewhere to store the cooker. Um, so I kind of prefabricated uh, a little bit of ply. I've uh, notched out the end with a multi tool and uh, I notched out a little bit, excuse my crappy carpentry skills, but that was late at night with a multi tool. Uh, probably could have got a chisel, but I couldn't find it. Um, so, um, this is going to fit in. I had this fitted last night, uh, but unfortunately, where it was a bit dark, uh, I didn't realise there was a cross member uh, in the framework underneath as I went to shut the drawer, so the drawer wouldn't shut. So unfortunately, it only get taken out. So we've lowered it, um, and now I'm going to show you how that's going to fit. So first of all, I'm going to put the cooker in place. Um, and I want the cooker to sit kind of around there. And I want a bit of a gap this side and this side for the bracket. And this is the kind of problem I had before um, <clears throat> in as much as the the lid was a bit proud so I think that the cooker is a bit proud so what I may have to do is make some mods here so a um, little bit of a modification I've had to take the carpet out uh, the carpet was a female thick and obviously was uh, pushing the the work surface up a little bit too high uh, above the the level of the the draw so um, here's my new modification I've marked up the shelf and uh, about to drill the holes <laughs> So I've only uh, mounted it on two um, uh, screws at the moment, just to see how that kind of works. And uh, that's pretty flush actually. We've got a fairly flush edge over the back there. Let's turn the camera a little bit so you can just see that. And we've got a fairly flush. It's a little bit proud there, but a little bit of uh, bending and manipulating. We're going to 
Yeah, that's actually looking quite good. Um, so the proof now will be, can we slide under um, and uh, stop? Perfect. And we'll try it with the cooker. Just to make sure the cooker isn't uh, got a bit of a catch there, but we'll sort that out in a minute. So that's the cooker in. Yeah, it's going to catch a little bit on that edge. So what I'll have to do is just uh, uh, take a little bit off that back edge there with the multi tool. Let's catch in a little bit. But for now, let's try it. Perfect. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So um, let's uh, sort that little corner out and uh, so he doesn't get a bit of a horrible click when it's catching on, it's binding basically on the on the lipped edge of the of the drawer. So we'll sort that a little bit out and that little problem out now. Um, and I've got a working solution. Uh, I think the final bit will be just to mount a little bracket in the right hand corner here so that we've got something to support uh, that the corner that's uh, floating. So I'll do that and uh, I'll get back to you in a moment. No problem. So a uh, little bit of adjustment made. Um, gonna try the cooker again. Cooker's now sitting in. And um, we'll try this lid. That comes down flush. And then no more binding, no more clicking. Um, I think it just needed the bracket um, tightening up square. I think that's what the problem was. Um, I'll just lower the camera so you can see the cooker in place and uh, there we go so I just need to fit uh, a bracket under this corner now and um, obviously we're good to go all right so uh, the next, that's the next step Good enough. Now all that remains is to try out the cooker. So we've got our cooker. Uh, imagine, oh, it's catching again. I have to sort that out again. So the cooker sat in there. We take the cooker out. We pop this down. Pop it on top of the work surface. Um, obviously, gas canister goes in. Push down, and we have heat. Not sure if you can see that, uh, but that's quite warm. So uh, yeah, uh, time for a coffee, I think. So uh, a little bit of faffing and um, we finally got there. So I'm pretty pleased with the end result. So I'm gonna show you now. Uh, I've got a, an end stop here for the, for the cooker. Uh, I've got some foam inserts, uh, if you can see that there. And foam insert here, little, little canister just down there. 
um, and obviously sort of uh, my cans here with some foam inserts to stop them sliding around and obviously the lid comes down now without making any horrible uh, catching noises um, so yeah pretty impressed and I think the final proof will be to cook it out under the surface plug the gas in and we've got ignition so just a final touch um i went back to go outdoors and i bought a couple of these um oex wind blockers uh, little aluminium things i'm not sure if you can see i'll show you on camera um and all that does it just allows me to basically protect the flame from the wind um and obviously make a nice cup of coffee so um yeah uh that's that's the final draw system um i've got to do something here um probably going to make uh, another little shelf for cooking um and um hopefully uh, that'll be next weekend because it's getting a bit chilly now and uh, my poor little knees can't cope anyway uh thanks again for watching um thanks for following my channel if you have done if you subscribed if you've made a comment um they all help boost the channel and don't forget, uh, if you hit the notification bell, it'll just remind you next time I upload a video. Um, anyway, good night, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world. And uh, thanks for following. Bye.